Alright guys, how's it going? Back again with some... Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Game of the Year Edition. And I had a few small mods. Um, one that we get full experience on um, on quests even if we've out leveled them. Just because I may not want to do some of them right now. Like uh, the one with uh, Akira. Uh, I don't want to do that right now, but so I will out level it and I'll come back to it later. I want to lose experience just because I did that. Um, did it so I can jump in shallow water because that's annoying to me. A few small little ones like that. Um, I wanted to up the hair thing. I have it on everybody. Okay, I thought I only had it on Geralt. Turn up the A on it though. Turn up the higher. Alright, let's see how that works out. Shadows usually kick uh, GP's asses, so. Um, but I've been staying at a constant 60. I don't have a drop. I'm not even doing this. It doesn't drop. So, okay, 59. Or whatever. Dr. Green hey, Chili here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Alright. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. 
It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. Don't stop interrupting me then, huh? It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. It's because you decided not to hurt him when he came up to you. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? I wish they wouldn't interrupt you so much. Yeah. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No when a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone... The emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Yennefer was not in Novigrad, Triss was, but Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot.
course, the only dandelion would walk into a bank seat uh, heist with full all the fancy stuff on. Ridiculous. <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply, show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet. Heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Thyme in their room. The Rosemary and Thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. She didn't really help. I hope you find like, your Siri. You could have thought. Okay, they didn't go for Triss. Didn't find Triss. Or Yennefer. He could have. He thought about Dandelion on his own. You know. There's really no need. But whatever. First back in Rummy supper on every field. Hey there, handsome. Three. Ooh, a new one open. Hell yeah. Okay. I believe it's time to get some more combat. power plus this. So, that's like damage. Alright. Cool. Alright, I think that'll work. That quest is right here. I'll make you weep, Quite the sun. Like a raw wound. A witcher? Oh. Hear about the notice by chance? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage. Across the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into oh, the yeah. infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either. Black a pearl. black one. The rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. I time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. And the witcher's shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Easier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. 
I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Yeah. Sounds fine. See you there. Well, let's actually check the notice board. Just the hell of it. Pizza rank. In recent days, the Rob's temper have been ravaged to death by Mr. Manor. Is this one about the, uh, about the vampire? Quench the meat Vivaldi cheats. <laughs> Dwarven banker of the meat Vivaldi is a villain and a cheat using typical non human trickery, of course, not human trickery. He conjures way to victory over me, then forthwith demanded I surrender my cars without the slightest consolation and give me the chance for a rematch. Stay out of the sewers. Do not find all the merchandise. <laughs> Turning out the mission here. Any needs well stuck. I do need to turn that in. I thought the Griffin one was lover was eleven. Kira, Dem Shrines, Black Pearl, that one's easy. I need to get the one that lets me buy them all. Let's go to the, yeah, let's go to the Rosemary time. to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay? From Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all her at him and his tail slinks between <laughs> his legs. Come on, people. <laughs> but your fairness in How your you like that one? I forgot about this one down here. I forgot if he had any good. He has a quest The best stock... I, think, I don't remember having nothing. This guy has like barely really anything. Good. If I remember correctly. Let me have. Yep, barely anything. Get the fish. Actually, can I sell him anything?
Yeah. Bye. Leave him alone. And who might you be? Temple Guard undercover. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town, then. You're making a mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't? If you don't, I'll have to kick your faces in. Cheer <laughs> that, lads. Too. Go home, merchant. Try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean, both, yes. Thank you, sir. We wanted was. Kick their ass, three of them. I love it. Shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. He's fucking so small. We kicked their asses. I love it. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan. With your boot to someone's Those ass, really as always. Characters. Who were those men? A local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. Ah. All right. Time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Oh, that's what I have to do it that way. Yeah, I never left work. Yeah. Ah, uh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods are dear. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian Lagers standing in just fine. You, though, no, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, by chance? <laughs> Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Ha! Need to tell me all about it. Oh well. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? I'm looking for Ciri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? 
But what'd she be doing here? Hiding yeah, Siri probably. might actually she be, might in, be in danger. Um, See her in your dreams? Couple times. Oh, her um, and the wild hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. CD Project Red. Problem, then. Their new game, uh. Cyber 2077 or something like that? Um, whatever, their new game. There was a, there was a actually Easter egg in here where she actually does go there. Um, she talks about how she was there when she's um, traveling between the worlds and everything. So she actually may show up in that game, which is pretty cool. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just barely returned that you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot like a boar in some cold ale? What do you find instead? A shite storm! Shite. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start the ground floor. A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexter. <laughs> hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Planner. Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. <laughs> Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Such a... Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. <laughs> and you figure that's unnatural because... <laughs> Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you yeah. are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit for your scut. If you need anything, I'll be next door. I'll try. I have a stash now. All right, cool. Um. Oh, it's like elegant boots that I don't usually... I have three shirts? Why? Okay. Um, how about you? Keep you. I do want one of the Wild Hunt swords with me. Fourteen. Twenty-two. Well, before I use that. I love the exploding bolts. 
I wish they actually did real damage, you know? They really don't. I guess I can put the books. Nah. They don't wait anything, do they? Nope. Alright, that'll work. Hmm. Nose is too small. Hey, <laughs> and the sword's too big. <laughs> by the by, is that how it's done? Killing a wyvern? <laughs> Technique's not quite right, but you gotta admit he's doing it with gusto. <laughs> the thrust of your hypnotic gaze left my visage red and hot. The whole world suddenly set to spinning in a whirlwind of oblivion. And I plunged into pure ecstasy, imbibing its nectar, the music, the singing, you. For that one moment, that one brief moment, I felt as if I were the lute you so skillfully strummed and wanted nothing more than for you to put your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning chords. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is so sad. Keep the good stuff. Playing cards here, huh? It'd be cool if you could have picked up one of them. I can't get through that. I think it's I forgot which one it is. I think it's Mirabella. No, Rosa. That one for sure. It's the oh, I needed to get that run in cities. Mod Rose. Let's, let's actually go ahead and grab that guy. Giving me no choice.
Let's uh, let's grab that mod real quick. Um, what's it called? Run through cities. Okay. Alright, let's pull up browser. Actually, pull up Nexus mod manager, and then pull up browser. Galloping in cities, okay, that's what it's called. Hopefully it works with 1.31. Hope so. Doesn't look, it says 121, so it may not. But we can try it. Over here. Use the comment section of uh, the compatible with the latest DLC. Let's see what files he has. Oh, he also has fast travel from anywhere. I wanted to get that too. Oh, this one guy—he did galloping in cities, fast travel from anywhere, and auto loot. This guy did a lot of really good stuff. Hopefully, this is one three one. There you go. Here's the uh, fast travel from anywhere. There is a new auto loot that's configurable, but it's so much you have to do so much to get it working. We'll try the auto loot that he has. Hopefully, it, this one works. 1.31, I hope. I hope so. And then, uh, galloping. We'll, we'll try it. I'm going to run the uh, script merger and see if there is an issue. Nope. At least not in uh, issues with other mods, at least. Alright, we'll find out whether it really worked or not. Uh, I brought up the, the uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt script compiler. Uh -huh, it's not going to let me go. Oh, it very well might. Yeah? I see you, Gal. Triss could not help <clears throat> Gal, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an O'Neromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Looks Tilly, like the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his, his dear, dear old friend. friend. I think they changed the actor of Danny Lion, the voice actor, but I think he sounds just fine.
Alright. Now let's see. <coughs> Roach, you gonna let me go? Give me up. Yep, sure did. It works. Good deal. Oh, I know where we are. Right. Haircut too, actually. Can you? Thank you. Trouble? Just a small My better came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happened in some house. The old Greta's got the imagination of a drunk troubadour. She never lies about serious matters. Some stalker tells her the corpses were strange. Another day, old Nilfgaard Greeting. Need a trim. All right. First, we need a uh, beard. Full beard. Let's see what full beard trim short looks like. Cause his hair does grow over time. Alright, uh, it's the same. Almost. Let's go ahead and clean shave. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's fine. Haircut, I think that was actually really good. I think I usually go on with that. It's usually what I work with. But the default one looks pretty good. So long. Yeah, that'll work. And there's actually a merchant right up here. You are the fence had to the stuff, of the eternal fuck. This one. Don't be shy now. Looking doesn't cost a thing. There's plenty to behold. This here is a collection of wonders that belong to the mage Eremas. A once in a lifetime opportunity. How do you get a hold of these? Never heard of a mage willingly parting with his treasures? No one asked Eremas his will. He was burned at the stake a fortnight ago. Strange they didn't burn his stuff with him. Witch hunters let you resell it just like that? Why wouldn't they? These are common goods, some valuable only as collectibles, perhaps. All right, I get it. These items aren't actually common. Rumor has it, each is an enchanted key. Rumor happened to mention where to find the locks these keys open? Sadly, no. What if I knew you could hardly expect me to sell them? Where did Aramas live? At a lovely residence south of Oxenford. Badly damaged now as he made the hunters pay dearly for his skin. Show me what you have. Yeah, we had the uh, personal clearance, remember that. Another figurine, Jay's Death's first quest we'll be doing. And, Marcus Guide to Gwent, I haven't seen that before. That's new. Farewell. Yeah, I used to always statue right of a man. Here. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. A witcher of unsullied reputation. Who want to take risk of combining their residence of the outskirts of the city of combing the residence of the city required by understanding the law to have a killer creature haunting it. All right. Haunted house. That's the haunted house he's just talking about. Driving it slippery, the bugger was quick. What do you want? Wanna see Rose of Aratra? 
Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see I'm just anybody. Sword, I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a Striker, I'm sure her Striga. papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you'll not need. Where do I get the uh, information about being a Swordmaster? Did I, did I have to listen? Yeah, maybe I'd listen a little bit further. Chris could not help Geralt. I thought there was an option to get you a, Tilly, to uh, assume the role of a the lost sword and teacher. The Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Siri and I, the bard Dandelion, were reunited. I know it's loaded. Geralt now knew that to find Siri, he it's would first that. to Skip find the, uh, his dear old friend. Videos. I don't want to skip all of them. I want to be able to choose. Okay, so I got that. Disembowel man. Disembowel man. Look, talk to you I chased the pansy all the way to the garden. Oh, did you catch him? No, no. Driving in slippery, the bugger. As quick as a tomcat. Scrambled out the hole in the back wall. Sounds like it might have been an acrobat. Maybe so. Both misses are fond of freaks. A wolf ain't so shy. What do you want? Oh, tried to cook though. I'm the new cook. And them pointy things sticking away with you, vagrant. Mm, okay. I wonder if there is another way in there. I can... Never done another way. I've always been the sword master thing. Okay, come on, I'm up there. Alright, maybe there's another way. Ah! Interesting. My darling Rosa, from the first moment I set eyes upon you that fateful evening at my bankle buds, my heart has only beaten for you. I can eat or sleep. My master threatens to terminate my apprenticeship, and I don't even know if you remember me. Albert Bagelbud introduced us near the Rosa uh, Capon table. I happened to be eating one when, when I saw you. It stuck on my throat and I started to choke, and you laughed. Oh, how sweetly. How proudly you laughed. That marvelous sound still fills my ears to this day and I live in the hopes of it. Jeez. If you care for a life of a poor life, follow the hustle of you take pity and do not torture me with eternal waiting. There we go. You fancy men like me? Whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get. Oh, I got the auto work. It's Lady Varatra to you, and I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. No, oh, that didn't go. Through the door, where's the door? There's. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, 
my new sword play instructor, correct? Oh, it worked out the same. Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But, miss, he just claimed to be the cook. He's a cheat, he is. <laughs> See, Frederick, did I not warn you not to jest with the guards? They haven't any sense of humor whatever. Now take Master de Bergerac to the training room. Quickly. As you say, miss. She played that off pretty nicely. Yeah, the cooking probably wasn't the best idea. I, mean, I wanted to reload, but it seemed kind of stupid and pointless. Why don't you realize what you've got yourself into? I hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. And take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll learn the ambassador's ire. Follow me. Following. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your work. My word, you'll we'll see, huh? Your ass on. Stop floating and fight. Come on, come closer. Swings are easily seen. You wind up way too long. Easy to block. Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? Oh, damn it! Need to have you one. Well, but you're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your sword play instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes, uh -huh. in the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer, don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know, terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what really the bard cute, had in mind. But he mostly played his lute and sang places. for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship. If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Why? Gratitude! Ooh, you're oh. quick!
You can hit me at least one. Come on, come closer. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Va Atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. Of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Can someone please explain what this is all about? Which of you met with Dandelion? No need to get angry, Instructor. I'll explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen. I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Jeez. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Money, money, Never money! Sides, always stay out of conflicts. Ships. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Changing subjects. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. But who knows? The bard might have invented her just to make us jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about it. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, 
Can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. House here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. <laughs> Could you lay it on thicker? Alright, real quick, guys. I love my dog outside. She's kind of poking me. So I'll be back here in about, about three or four minutes. Okay, guys? Right back.
Sorry about that, guys. Right. Uh, at least they won pretty quickly. This one, I think. Is she the one that actually has the information? She might have been. Yeah, yeah, she is. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding now. Be gone. <clears throat> Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Oh, what? Greetings, General. I love You're right. Love. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, <clears throat> men are a love in it. An Imperial General and a Witcher meet. <clears throat> and know each other. Surprising. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emrys? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vegelbach. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there... On our way, then! Side straddle thing. As if women can't straddle horses properly. <clears throat> I'm glad they don't do that anymore. It's no wonder they don't fall off right away. <clears throat> Legal blood state, which is to the east. Far east doesn't. We've arrived. Go much further. Actually, go much further. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. The edge of the As map. a young girl, I travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Here's the one I'd want. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. <laughs> know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the Bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Is Molly a horse? <laughs> Pardon? I did come here to see Molly after all. Patience, Richard. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. 
Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. That's what wild. would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Right. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? The Black's your favorite? Let's see what a Nilfgaardian stallion's made of. I'll not race. However, I will <coughs> wager on a winner. The Grey Mare's my choice. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Yeah, I'm gonna kick his ass. The only thing about this is that he doesn't have the stamina to run the whole way, so... <clears throat> Actually... Ready! Oh well. You have to get your back your stamina quickly. Let's go! Do it on turns or make sure that they stay behind you as you do it. Victory. Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Ah, youth these days. They're brained, all of them. Alright uh, guys, I actually have a few things to do real quick. Um, instead of making you wait, I'll probably be back in about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. I'll just start back up in a little bit, okay? Thanks guys, see you in a few.